Good morning, guys. If you're here for a uh, the first time, or if you're returning, good morning to you. I am um, looking on our uh, on our numbers right now, and everything. And when I talk about my numbers, here we go. At the site, everything's looking good. But more importantly, when I say everything's looking good, I mean we're getting a lot of views. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about the group. Yeah. And you know, what I'm really excited is I'm really excited about that one person that can potentially flip their health life around. Because that's, you know, that's going to be my dedication uh, with this group. That one person. It's not, it's not saving, not, well, I don't mean about saving, but it's not about a million people getting the information and saving all their lives, because that's just not gonna happen. But that one person, if you're that one person, then this channel's for you. I want you to know that. Um, that's always been my scope. The, for the decade that I've been plant-based. You know, it's, it's about getting the word out. And um, you just hope that everybody eventually is going to you know, take up, uh, well, you know, it's good to have the knowledge, but you have to have the wisdom to use the knowledge. You know, one of the, ooh, well, I just want to say good morning, first and foremost. So, secondly, I want to recap on a couple of things because it's so important for us to be on uh, the right soil, the right understanding, the right, um, well, the right footing. And to get the very first thing right that you have to get right when you're on a plant-based diet or any other type of diet. And that is, mind you, only plant-based is going to heal you, period. I, I don't care. Uh, you can tell me about a thousand different diets, but this is a lifestyle that heals. And I'm going to go into that. Um, you got to have, well, first and foremost, the step number one, water. Almost everybody you see is dehydrated. Dehydration causes depression, causes strokes. It covers the lack of health. It covers so many, oh man, you don't want to be dehydrated. No. Um, how do you know if you're dehydrated or not? Well, if you have no energy, you're definitely dehydrated. But you know, if, if you're feeling depressed, you're dehydrated. If you're not drinking one to three gallons of water, uh, uh, distilled water a day, you're dehydrated. Mind you, you don't have to drink distilled, but you're wasting your... Whew, if you want to drink the best water, in my opinion, you're going to drink dehydrated water for sure. Why is that? Because your body can't break down the minerals that are fakely added in there. You also don't want to have that fluoride in your water as well. Um... You know, every day our bodies, um, my body, your body, they all replace 3 million cells. So you got to have the raw materials. You are tomorrow what you eat today, period. And you don't want to be some, a piece of Kentucky Fried Chicken. It might feel good going in, but it's, it, man, it, the, the, oh, there's nothing in that Kentucky Fried Chicken that you want replacing your cells. You don't want... A taco from Taco Bell. Now, you know, we came from nature. Nature's, you know, you need clean, you need clean raw um, materials. You need carrots. You need avocados. You need your coconuts. You need your greens. Not necessarily a lot of greens, but you need good building materials. Um, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I love avocados. I love coconuts. Frozen berries you can buy. Um, making smoothies is awesome. Yesterday, Darlene and I, actually Darlene made me a smoothie with, she took a, a half a cup of almonds. Uh, I think it was one and a half cups of distilled water. A bunch of berries, a bunch of frozen bananas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have her make that and show you how she did it, or I'll do it for you, one or the other. So it, it was really good, really delicious really healthy and um it was a powerhouse you know 
You got so much potassium there. Good fats get rid of bad fats. You know, that's what it's all about. It's all about eating for health. And, you know, some people will get it. Some people won't. I mean, but here's the thing. If you're on this channel, if you're one out of 10 that has diabetes, yes. If you know 10 people, the odds are that one of them has or is diabetic. Type 2 diabetic, mind, mind you. And they're on medicine that it's going to have long-term implications. Not just could, but will. Um, you're also going to have people on the wrong diet. They're going to have cholesterol issues. That cholesterol medicine is nothing you want to play with. You, you want to go ahead and... Um, mind you, this isn't medical advice, but you're going to want to say, screw the freaking doctors, okay? Because all they're going to do is going to make you junkies to their to their um, pharmaceutical tablet. They're going to write you out drugs so you can take those. You're going to be going back to them forever. They're going to put you, you know, you're going to have high blood pressure too. More, more people have high blood pressure than anything else. People don't care about healing you. Food can heal you. Food can reverse it. If you've got high blood pressure, get rid of it, man. And I'm telling you, you can. And I'm telling you because I care. You can reverse your high blood pressure. Um, I'll go over this in a video here very soon. And it's not as a teaser, the reason why I'm not telling you now, but I could talk for hours. I mean, I'm a talky person. That's what I do. I don't know why. It's just the way that I'm programmed. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, just real quickly, you know, eating raw foods, drinking that one to three gallons of water a day, doing your cardio, man. Do, do your 45 minutes of cardio a day. You know, go for a, a walk, a small uh, walk, and then get a treadmill in your house. It's going to get cold here soon. Get, get, well, I'm in Tennessee, okay? And <laughs> we just got back from a walk. It's 52 degrees outside. I'm not kidding you. It was pretty cold out there. So, And it's going to be 82 today. So I'm thinking tornadoes. But anyway, we're not going to have a tornado, I'm sure, hopefully to get this. But, um, yeah. Yeah. You do those two things right there. You eat raw materials. You drink your water. You get your cardio in. You're going to have your blood pressure where you want it. Not only that, and everybody's going to ask, what do I eat? Do I eat 70% 70 berries? Do I eat 20% nuts? How many avocados do I eat a day? And I'm going to tell you this. You're eating a horrible diet now. You're eating every, whatever you want. When you come over to a whole plant-based diet, the only thing they're going to tell you is... Eat a bunch of different stuff and have fun with it and drink lots of water. Just eat whatever. Now, there's medical liability that comes with that. So we, we, a person has to tell you, ah, I'm not going to tell you what to eat. I'm just going to tell you you need to eat raw foods. So just eat raw foods. Don't worry about it. You're going to have more minerals and nutrients and vitamins than you've had in decades. And if that's balanced. The word protein is not a word. The red protein was just made up so they could they could make you want to buy meat. When you see all these people on these, oh my goodness, what do they call that? Carnivore diet? First of all, you're not a carnivore. You don't have intestines like them. You don't have the acidity in your mouth. You don't have the acidity in your in your stomach. You don't have teeth that are gonna rip off flesh. Carnivore diet is a recipe for colon cancer, for cancers in general, for um, breast cancer, for uh, testicular cancer, for the liquid meat especially, which is the, you know, of course, the dairy. So don't go down that road. Just don't go down that road. Run away from that road, my friends. Run away because you deserve better. You deserve a lifetime full of not having disease. You don't you, you, say goodbye to that blood pressure. If you were wondering how to get rid of high blood pressure, I, I, I'll teach you, baby bird. I'll teach you. You know, and it's easy. You know, it's really, really easy because once you lose your addiction, you have to fight the addiction to processed food. But you got to get rid of all processed food. What can I eat? You can eat all the fruits, berries, nuts, seeds, legumes you want to. You can walk into to the produce department, get bags and bags of produce, and eat them all day. You will lose weight. <sighs> You got to drink your one to three gallons of water. And it's easy for me, but I've been doing it for a decade. And I got to tell you, the first thing you got to do is get that gallon of water. You know, 
you're first starting out on this, get 14 gallons of water. And plan on drinking one gallon of water a day, but try to push in that second one. Well, I'm glad I stopped in and got some FaceTime with you all. That's totally cool. Um, definitely we'll check back with y'all here in a little bit. I just want to tell you that, you know, there are so many things in our lives we don't have control over. And that's just real. So many things we don't have control over. But the one thing that we most certainly have control over is what we put in our mouths. And we do, about 99% of the time, have control over our health. We got at 5 o'clock this morning. It is 7 a.m. <laughs> and I'm checking in with you right now. And I'm doing it because somebody out there, I'm going to tell you, I care about you. If you're that person that has a high blood pressure, you can push through that. I want you to look back at my videos. Um, there's a lot of information in there. If you're trying to save your life, you'll, ha you'll have the time. But I just want to let you know I'm here for you. I'm with you. Um, let's see. Yeah. There's a book called The Hallelujah Diet. I refer to it. Um, George Malcolmus is the, uh, is the author of that book. Check that book out. Why do I say that? Uh, I don't get any money off of it. But it has the information in there that will completely change your life around. And I just read that book for the first time a few months ago, maybe four months ago now. Uh, my fiance read that book and she knew the way I felt about nutrition. But when she read that book, that was what changed her whole paradigm shift in the way that she thought. Um, and that's coming in from a religious Christian perspective, especially going with the uh, Genesis 129. You can pick everything apart in life or you can find things that resonate with you. That makes sense. She's off of four of her medications now. She has no medication she's on. The high blood pressure, the metformin, thyroid, all those pills are gone. Baba, gone. Because she decided to make that change. And we all have a million reasons why we can't change. But we need to find that one reason why we're going to change. We have to, we have to just decide if we're going to make the change and why we can make it work. Not the millions of reasons why we can't. I'm too stressed out. I don't have the time. I got a billion kids. My husband and my wife won't eat like me. Yada, yada, yada. Well... This video's gone long enough. I am going to do a little snack today. Uh, I'm going to do something to do with popcorn. Well, am I? I don't know. No, probably not. Nope. No, but let me explain. I mean, you can go back and, and take a look at one of the other popcorn ones, but I'm not going to eat today. I'm going to, well, not true. I'm going to be eating grapes. The only thing I'm going to eat today is grapes and drink water. Yep. Just because... It's interesting. Yesterday, I drank two and a half gallons of water. When I went to bed, I was like 214 pounds. I'm like, what? And I realized how much water I drank. Remember, a gallon of water is like seven pounds. And I drank, I don't know. It's just the way I drank it, the way I consumed it. Uh, by morning, this morning, I was like 208 pounds. So that's why I tell everybody, don't go by the, the amount of weight that you weigh, but always regulate it especially after you get down to the more of that ideal weight that you want to be at. My ideal weight is around 200, 204. Um, I haven't gotten to the 200. I've been to the 204. And yeah, so anyway, y'all have a wonderful morning. I appreciate you. I'll check back with you later today. You have a good one.